we've been talking about all day. So I'm going to, we're going to watch a video on it. Um, we've been kind of half joking about season of mastery coming back. And I know there's people that have, you know, said that there's rumors and all this other stuff. I would honestly be shocked if Blizzard has another season of mastery with how, how much of a disaster their first one was. And I've said it all along, like people that, keep saying that they want classic plus or all this stuff. And then I point out how terrible Blizzard is actually at developing their games and how much they just screw the game up. They couldn't do anything right in season of mastery. Basically they did literally everything that they possibly could to screw up the game unintentionally, I guess, but they, they just show that they really don't have any sort of um, an idea to what their customer base wants. The customer base you know, the general group of people that play Classic WoW did not want a game where it was sped up to a 12-month cycle and stuff like that. Blizzard just did that for their fiscal year, basically. And if you haven't figured that out, I would talk about it on stream all the time. Blizzard develops things and puts them out at certain points through the year so it gets a boost to the revenue so that every quarterly it looks better and their their stock price goes up. That's why they they, they launch things at certain times of the year. That's more important than you actually having a, a quality, good quality game um, to play. By the way, speaking of of quality, um, I'll, I'll I'll show this. Hold on, this is a tweet that I posted earlier. Hopefully, you guys can see that. This is a ticket that our raid leader put into Blizzard last night, and the response was: Your average ticket wait time is forty days and one hour. Blizzard doesn't give a crap about customer service. They don't listen to the customers at all. And that's basically um, them in a nutshell. So them to actually develop a Season of Mastery server that is actually going to be um, popular. I mean, we saw how quickly the Season of Mastery, the original one, I played on it. Um, but we saw how quickly people just abandoned it because Blizzard did such a terrible job. And it's not because people don't want to play vanilla. Tons of people want to play vanilla. It's like a lot of people's favorite version of the game. But Blizzard did such a poor job at developing it that it drove people away. And now they're talking about making a second one or there's rumors. Anyways, here's the video. See, seasonal classic servers to make an early return. It would honestly blow me away if this happens. It would honestly blow me away if Blizzard went in for round two after how much of a disaster their first one was. But let's see. But having said that, because we just said that, of course Blizzard's going to do it. Because they don't actually look at what's best for the game. And hey, this is... The, and y y meanwhile, you have like thousands, dozens, dozens of, you know, content creators that kind of have their pulse on what the community wants. Um, saying, hey, this is what needs to be done, blah, blah, blah. But Blizzard is like so arrogant that they're like, no, we're going to do what we think is right. And we're not going to listen to the general public at all. So anyways, here we go. Are ...happening around the same time at the moment. And either I've gone completely off the deep end like that one guy from the meme, or something is about to be announced. And speaking of announce... It's just a quick cash grab. Well, I mean, the rumor is that Season Mastery 2 is going to come out, well, I've heard like late November. And I mean, it hasn't been... There's been no... Um, uh, no beta testing, no testing, no nothing at all. So, I mean, if it did come out in late November, it's going to be buggy as you know what. So I, I really highly doubt that these rumors are true because, I mean, if it was coming out late November, there would be beta testing of it right now. For sure there would be. And they, I, there's, they've not even made an announcement, let alone started, hey, we're going to start beta testing next week or whatever, right? So... Announcements. Here's a quick word from today's sponsor, Factor 75. Factor se but if it was going to come out Again, yeah, a lot of it might be because they want extra subs for revenue. Same as when when people ask me, when do I think that um, when do I think uh, next phase is going to come in for Wrath of Liching? I said for like quite a while, I thought it was going to be early January, but then I started to think about it. And I'm like, you know what? It's Blizzard we're talking about here. If Blizzard could release it in late December to get those sub numbers up to get the extra cash grab for their year end fiscal, I would not be surprised if they did that. Uh, and you would think that with Dragonflight coming out, that would be the worst possible thing to do. But 
because Blizzard is so concerned about revenue every quarter, I I could actually see them making that decision. It would be anyone who like uses their head would understand that having Dragonflight and Wrath of Lich King like phase content launch at the launch at basically the same time is really stupid, really stupid. And because it's really stupid, you almost think, hey, you know what? Blizzard's probably going to do just that. So um, I still think the next phase will launch probably sometime early January. I would be stunned if they had it launch before Christmas. You're going to have a lot of people that are really pissed off if it launches anywhere near Christmas because people are on vacation, all that sort of stuff. They're, they're gone away for the holidays. So I think a lot of raids, if... They have to miss a week because of Christmas. They're not, I mean, we don't want to, but I would be a lot less upset if it happened at the end of the phase where everyone's pretty much bisque geared and stuff like that, as opposed to like right at the beginning of a phase. Like if they had the next phase come out on say like, I don't know, December the 10th or whatever, whatever the Tuesday is of that week, I would be mad. Because I know the week of Christmas or whatever, you're going to have a lot of people that are like, sorry, dude, can't make it this week, can't make it this week. So, but it's Blizzard and it would drive more people. So I, I wouldn't be shocked. I would be angry. And I, I would again be saying, I can't believe Blizzard is doing something so stupid, but it's Blizzard. And same as this season of Mastery. I would, I'm stunned that they're, they're even that this is even a topic actually. 75 offers ready-made meals with a difference, combining the convenience of something you can have ready in no time at all, whilst not compromising on quality. Order in this? a day, a week, or a month's worth of food in one go, and then just wait for it to arrive. Back to this is his, oh, the, he's, this is a sponsor. I, I haven't heard of this before. The food, um, what the hell is this white crap that they've got the meat? They can pretty much remove the white crap, whatever that is, the green crap, the green crap on the chicken, and just leave the chicken on the plate. Um, maybe whatever the sauce is, maybe dip the chicken in the sauce, and... I, yeah. To 75 offers keto, low calorie, vegan, vegetarian options, and more. All you need is somewhere to heat it up and the time are written on the box. No guess. Keto and low calorie. These are these are uh, meal plans for gamers. Let's work on what no. you need in. No time wasted shopping, preparing. Uh, those meals look like ass. Do these look like meals that gamers want to want to eat? and cleaning up more time for what you love doing instead. Factor 75 delivers food fast, which is prepared by real chefs who know how to deliver delicious, no-nonsense food that can be ready in around two minutes. Not only are Factor 75 meals full of nutritious and good okay, th things... This, this actually doesn't look bad. I, I don't know what this green stuff is. I mean, I, beans, I don't mind. I don't know what this stuff is. But it's also good for your wallet. And planning ahead will mean there's always something healthy to grab, meaning a less reliance on wallet. takeouts. Use I my link or go to... I've seen some of these, like, fast, like, these prepared meal things that get delivered or whatever. None of them are good for your wallet. Like, they are all pretty much way more expensive than what you'd pay. If, if you actually got off your ass and went to the grocery store and bought groceries and learned how to cook. Having said that, we're talking about gamers, and a lot of gamers won't do that. They'd rather just make something that is, like, pre-made or something. To factor75.com and use code POGWILLYNOV60 for 60% off your first box. Many thanks to Factor75 for the sponsor today. Let's talk WoW. Season Anyways, of Mastery is soon enough coming th to an th end. Thank you for sponsoring Willy Factor. 75 or whatever they're called. And having begun on November 16th, 2021, with transfers off currently being available. By the way, if you have a character on Season of Mastery, you should go take a minute to transfer it off or they're going to be deleted. Yeah, it is free after all. The forum and Reddit posts lamenting in their nostalgia have started to make a more noticeable reappearance. And there's more of them than I can recall seeing at any point in time in the past. Certainly wasn't anything like this around the time really? when TBC dropped. Much of a demand Even for classic error servers. Reading this, like, I haven't heard anyone going, "Man, I can't wait for another season of Mastery Server." I haven't heard anyone say that. Have started seeing a small repopulation. Looking way earlier in the year, there would be. Okay, wait. When he says that there's a small repopulation of the classic era servers, we logged in. Actually, we were doing this earlier because we were talking about this. Uh, I logged in earlier to White Main, which is apparently the largest 
classic era server in NA, there were 16 people online. Or I think, no, I think it was 32 people online and 16 people, 16 of them in Orgamar. And this was pretty much during prime time. So let's not let's not act like there's a there's a, a resurgence of people playing classic era. There's there's no resurgence. Like twelve or so items on the auction house on the supposed big servers. Now there's several thousand. There's people out in the world leveling. There's level sixties logging in. Lo Wait, what? Hold on. So nineteen people in Stormwind. Maybe I gotta go to. Oh, he's in Europe though, right? So maybe there's maybe there's a few more people in Europe, but. 19 people in Stormwind. There were 16 in Orgamar, but there was there were 16 people in Orgamar when we checked earlier in the stream. There was a total of 32 online. Okay, so let's <laughs> looking for things to do. It's not huge, don't get me wrong, compared to Raft, that is, and the error servers will always remain niche due to things such as being fully progressed, no new content, unequal footing for returning players, and so on. But if an environment like that is getting some interest, I think that means something. To top it off, recently we've had a good old reliable leak pop up, claiming oh, a month a leak. of other things. Olduar is in early January, but more... Okay, so Olduar in early January. That's what I was saying. Um, Where's this leak from? Did he say where this leak Relevant from? to pop up means something. To top it off, recently we've had a good old reliable leak pop. Oh, yes. Very reliable, of course up claiming amongst other things Alduar is in early january but more relevant to this video season of mastery season two on november 17th now there are one or two problems with this such as the belling mistakes on frez season of mastery season two just being called season two i always assumed they would go with season of insert a new word here and perhaps biggest of all as of doing this video we are about a week out with no announcement yeah. no ptr and no news whatsoever to build up hype saying that imagine Imagine if they just went and changed a bunch of stuff about Classic, that it's dropping on this date, and no player had tried it till launch. Tell me that wouldn't be hype. Maybe Classic would benefit from no PTR, and if it's buggy, um, yeah, we can call them features, I suppose. The real Classic experience. On top of that, Dragonflight hell. releases on the 28th of November. Though, to be honest, I don't know how much crossover there really is between a person wanting to try a second seasonal server of Classic and the new retail expansion. They're two very different different things any of you any of you interested in playing both season of mastery and and dragon flight like um i kind of agree with them i don't really know many people that are like i think i think there are people that want to play both retail and classic so maybe there would be i don't know i just don't think that there's that much hype for for seasonal season of mastery to be honest so i'm not gonna lie like i am a classic player through and through i have no interest in retail anymore um i would love to play the i would love to like retail again but right now i don't really pay too much attention to it it hasn't really drawn my interest back to it um i have no intention of, at this moment of playing dragonflight uh maybe i will but at this moment i don't and as far as even season of mastery like i don't have any interest in it so i don't know you'll you'll try what which frank uh, dragonflight or season of mastery so at this point in time and whether anything will happen at all though it's important that something does sooner or later for blizzard and the player base because at some point with us advancing through expansions classic will stop being well classic a lot of people are here for <laughs> where do you think classic stops being classic hmm hmm do you think Blizzard developers are like, if we call it Classic Cata, maybe the Classic players will be like, hey, it's still Classic. Let's go play that. For more than some nostalgia, I don't know about you, but in my experience, you aren't consistently nostalgic whilst engaging with said thing that made you feel that for several years in a row. I think that's more in the, hey, this thing is actually pretty good territory. And I think at this point we can say Classic has proven far more than just some nostalgia. If that's all it was, the player base would have disappeared a few do you, do you remember when Classic uh, was first announced and there was a lot of people that were like, oh, dude, it's just nostalgia. The game sucks. You don't really want to play it, particularly certain content creators. And then, of course, as soon as they saw how hyped it was, they were all playing it. 
you know, and you know, oh, suddenly they were having a great time and months stuff. after launch. What I'm saying is a lot of people don't like the direction that the retail version of the game went, and we're in Wrath at the moment, which for me already has tons of huge changes, more so than people really attribute to it. Leveling is incredibly easy, you get flooded with loot, multiple raid difficulties and so on. Soon after Wrath is Kata and the Mists of Pandaria, and who knows, maybe even Warlords of Draenor. For what it's worth, I can see them doing Kata, possibly even Mop, but by then, it really really is a different game, isn't it? The Sundering has hit, reworked itemization, leveling taken a backseat to endgame content, and so much more. At which point, if you did want to play a classic version of the game, would you be on Mr. Pandaria, or would you want to see what's happening on, well, classic, as in the very early versions of the game instead? Because for me, so far, the only game like classic has actually been the OG Just version, classic. vanilla. Don't get me wrong, there's things I like about each of the three versions of World of Warcraft we have gone through so far, but classic had by far the best world. Outland and North Rending in comparison are small, and I know it's such a stereotype, but the journey, going from a clueless knob in Northshire Abbey to a fully fledged level 60 adventurer starting on endgame content, things like the moment when you learn your mount to level 40, learning that big new ability such as whirlwind, the class quest, the zone hopping for the questing, all of these things were great in my opinion, and really built up the world to be something memorable. In TBC I think building on achievements was a good addition, though I'd have been fine if there was some kind of account wide key or something of the likes when exalted with various reputations just so you could do them on alts a little bit easier. And Wrath of the Lich King for me absolutely clears the other two on moment to moment gameplay. Hybrids are more than just viable, mana bars aren't a restriction to gameplay and there's more to every single class than a single button. I could certainly see myself trying classic again but another full year of pressing curse of recklessness on a mob, the warriors running and deleting in 4 seconds and me being unable to reach hit cap on my one button rotation till <laughs> over halfway through the expansion. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm too sold on that actually. Another year of casually leveling the odd character in the open world, perhaps with some new things to discover, that maybe could work a little bit better. And please, I hope we don't get the Wrath Here, Talents in you, vanilla. Let me, I mean, I, I get that, I get that Willy might not want to play fresh vanilla. Um, would you guys rather play fresh or would you rather play Season of Mastery? Which would you rather play? If, if Blizzard was to give you the option and you could only choose one, are you playing fresh? Or are you playing Season of Mastery? I'm actually kind of curious because I feel like... Okay, so you guys are all all fresh. <laughs> fresh, 1.12.1. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I talk to a lot of other people in other communities, and I haven't heard anyone talking about wanting to play Season of Mastery again. And, I mean, again... I our communities are probably a little bit biased because we're f not completely, but a lot of, a lot of people are, are classic players, but I know a lot of people in my community play both. They play both retail and they play classic. You know, they're, they're not really partial to either one. They play both. And I haven't like, they've all said that they, they don't want to play classic plus they don't want to play. They want to play fresh vanilla. And I noticed some people, that seems re really kind of stupid because and because you hear from them they're like but you've already done that content why do you want to do it again because it's fun <laughs> like i i don't know what else to say because it's fun like it's why do i watch some movies more than once because it's a great movie you know and some people they just don't understand that you know the reason why people will play they don't want to play classic era that's not the same thing you always get the same the same people that are like why don't you just go play classic era classic era is vanilla it's not fresh it's not a fresh launch and part of the excitement of vanilla is that fresh launch experience where for the first like several weeks even months it, everybody's everybody's gearing up and doing all these different things they're doing they're doing their prebis all that sort of stuff and for a lot of people this can take forever whereas going to like classic era you're going to a server where some people have like first of all there's nobody there playing and one of the reasons why there's nobody there playing is because people don't want to go there because it's not fresh and you got people that are there with tens of thousands of gold so it's I mean, if you don't understand why people want to play it, the same, this content over and over again, it's because they enjoy the content. That's how good it is. People actually want to do it over again. Whereas I don't see many people going, oh man, you know that dragon or that uh, 
Battle for Azeroth. I'd love to go back and do that again. Like let's let's restart let's restart fresh Battle for Azeroth servers. There's a reason why people want to play fresh. Uh, these trees are designed around having 71 points to spend. 51 points would be just as, if not even more restrictive than the Kata trees, as practically every class will have to go all the way down the tree to get their final ability. But that is just me, and they're not making the game for just me, they're making it for a player base they think will want to play it day in, day out. Remember, Seasonal Mastery 1 came out on November 16th, 2021, a few months after TBC dropped, and back then it didn't feel like long enough had gone by, but with a whole experience expansion between Classic and Wrath, I think for many, things are starting to feel a little bit different now. I've said it before and I'll say it again, if they do more seasonals, or when, perhaps it's either a no changes release, fan servers have shown time and again there will be an audience for this, or just go all out with changes, much more so than was the case in Season of Mastery, because at the end of the day, it's seasonal, there's an expiry date on the server, it's not going to be the be all end all for Classic forever, and if you log in or read the changes and think, wow I don't like this, you just don't have to play it, because the next season might fit you a little bit better. But I think clearly there's a ton of interest and players wanting to be given a solid enough reason to go and try Classic again, with error slow Slowly growing, people beginning to reminisce on classic. We just need that little push to get excited. Okay, era is not growing. <laughs> let's let let's let's stop saying era is growing. Thirty two pe people on at peak hours is not classic. Era is growing. There was like nobody online when we checked earlier during prime time hours. That's not growing. That's like there's a handful of people that are playing. And like again, it's playing my favorite version of the game, classic vanilla but it's not fresh so I, I don't hear anyone screaming hey let's go play classic era or i don't have hear anyone screaming let's go play season of mastery i haven't heard anyone even suggest this except for this rumor that came out and then willie making a video about it i haven't heard anyone going classic season of mastery man about it again and for me hopefully something bigger and better than just the word fresh thrown about all in all, I hope that time and effort is put into a good Seasonal Mastery 2, or whatever they call it at the beginning. I am really liking the content in Wrath at the moment, but the longer we go on with current expansions, the closer to retail we get, and the closer to changes which turn many people away from the game in the first place we get. The whole point of Classic and the Seasonal Servers is to offer a different experience and protect- Wait, I'm on an ERA Discord. 53 signups for a Nax raid, not too bad. F 53 people. How many Nax raids are, are on that Discord every week? Because if you tell me it's just one and there's 53 people signing up for it, I don't know what else to say. So there's two a week. So of those 53 people, so that means there's at least 53 people playing on it. So if there's two a week, how many of those 53 people have alts that, they, that they're going to put in the second Nax raid? To tell me that there's two Nax raids on Classic Era servers in North America, that is not telling me that that it is growing. That really isn't saying enough, like that there's a demand for Classic Era servers. In fact, that's that that shows that there's literally almost no demand. There's a grand total of at least 53 people that are playing Classic Era um, on whatever server you're... What server are you playing on? Anyways, so as far as the, I mean, we're not talking about classic era anyways. I don't think that there's, there, I, I definitely don't think that there's, you're, okay, so white main's the one that we were talking about earlier. I logged in during prime time. Um, what in turn, Nizzle? Welcome to the stream, by the way. I logged on to white, uh, white main earlier on the stream during prime time hours. There was, I think, a grand total of 32 people online on the Horde side. I did a slash who 1 to 60. 32 people like that's not there's no, that's not demand you know and and that's you know basically keeping a server up so you know one and a half group of people can raid nax twice a week that's not demand that's like that i mean i'm surprised blizzard's actually kept it up Everybody probably raid logging. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, where's the demand? If there's if if it's growing, then there should be more than two Nax raids on the biggest classic era server on NA. 
maybe other people are faced. Anyways, so as, well, let's get back on topic. For for season of mastery, I don't I don't really um believe that there's that much of a demand from people to have a, a season of mastery too. The first one was so bad. And if Blizzard is still going to have like a season of mastery two, and it's still only going to be 12 months long, like Blizzard hasn't learned their lesson that the casual player cannot keep up to the demands of getting gear fast enough in order to keep up. That's part of the problem. Number one, forget about the whole like, um, where they had battlegrounds in from the very beginning and everybody just queued battlegrounds. They queued AV over and over again for like 12, 16 hours a day or whatever so that they could get their, their BIS weapon. And that eliminated basically anyone from actually doing pre-BIS farming in dungeons and stuff like that, right? Like, forget, forget about the fact that Blizzard did that. The casual, first of all, can't do that. And second of all, because, and, and let's admit it, like, I mean, I'm obviously not a casual. Most people watching the stream aren't casuals, but most people that play the game are actually casual players and they can't keep up to the pace that is required in order to get gear fast. So first of all, they can't even get to 60 fast enough in order to start getting that gear because it takes them weeks, maybe even a couple of months, maybe more to get to 60 right? And by that time, like Blackwing Lair's already come out or something like that. So I, it, they haven't even announced the Season Mastery, so maybe we're just, we're just jumping the gun here, jumping to conclusions. Maybe if they do have Season Mastery, the next Season Mastery, maybe they'll announce, hey, listen, we royally screwed up. We're going to make this 16 months longer, 18 months long or whatever, and then make changes. Then I could see, okay, you know what? But that was a big, big error when they announced that it was going to be one year long. And I get it. There's a lot of people that there, or there wasn't a lot of people that played Season of Mastery till the end. Let's be honest. But I think we can agree that the people that actually played Season of Mastery through out to at least AQ, the AQ patch, were probably not casual players for the most part. They were probably players that put in a lot of time and were able to keep up with the gear and stuff like that. Whereas the casual player would not be able to do that. Um, I wouldn't mind two X uh, P rates or something like that. The classic leveling is absolute ash. I love the classic leveling, to be honest. I love it. I love and I love the whole fresh thing because you know you're you're getting into like places like Stragalor and Vale and getting into low level PvP and stuff like that. I think it's a blast. I absolutely ha I absolutely love the classic leveling experience. I get it. Some people don't like it. They, you know, they're, they're like, hey, I've done that many times. I just want to boost. I just want to pay gold and have my character auto follow um, some bot and just get leveled up. So anyways, let's can, let's finish the video. Like the design pillars Blizzard have described some time ago around the world being important, protecting social engagements and so on. It's already been three years since Classic dropped back in 2019 and Picture this, in another three, at this rate, we'll probably be doing dailies on the Isle of Thunder. Classic no, we and won't. seasonal servers may all be in the past, but I think they're also going to be an important part of this game's future. That's everything today. Let me know your thoughts on it all, whether you're looking forward to a season two or whether that is all in the past for the time being. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Okay, great video by uh, Willie. Uh, just final comments. Um, one of the things that um, I've all I've talked about for weeks, months, is obviously you know the big question is what's going to happen once Wrath is done. Um, where, where's the player base going to go? Is Blizzard going to have vanilla servers, fresh vanilla servers? Um, along, uh, obviously they want to go to Kata, but I. I think the bulk of the community do not want, like the bulk, again, most people that I talk to, there are some, but most people I talk to, they have no interest in Kata at all. And I've said um, right from when the rumors came out and also the survey that came out about Cataclysm, I will, I, I, I have no interest in playing Kata. I will go play private servers if I have to. So, and that's what a lot of people that are in my stream have said as well. If 
Blizzard isn't going to have a fresh vanilla server, we'll go play private servers. I would rather play a private server in some dude's room, some some Russian kid's mom's parents' basement or whatever, um, and and play on that server, which for some somehow they're able to have 15,000 people on their servers with no layers. Um, but anyways, Blizzard can't. Um, but I'd rather go play on that server with 150, 160 millisecond ping than play Cataclysm. And just as kind of like proof of the fact that there are people that are wanting to play fresh, Everlook launched yesterday, which is another private server. And it's, I believe at launch, it had somewhere upwards of like six to 7,000 people online first night of, of its launch. There's obviously still interest there. And this is while people are already busy with Wrath of Lich King. Like I know a lot of people that are not playing on that server because right now they're too busy with Wrath of Lich King. I'm one of them. Like I don't know that I'll actually be able to level a character up on 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 this private server. But imagine how many people would be playing there if there was no Wrath of Lich King right now. Imagine how many people would be over there playing right now. That 6,000 people that they launched with could very easily be double or triple that. So I would be, uh, I stopped Wrath and full-time Everlook. I know a lot of people are, I know there's a lot of people that I know that are playing on, on Everlook Wex. And if I didn't have a guild to run on Wrath Lich King, I would probably be playing there as well. But I have commitments here until the end of Wrath. And then I probably would play there. I tell you what right now, like Everlook came out a few days ago, you know that Wrath is going to go for probably another 12, maybe 14 months. That's probably right about the time, well, that's obviously when Cataclysm is going to come out. That's probably also right about the time that another classic fresh relaunch will be done by the same people that just came out with Everlook. Could you imagine if Everlook, or sorry, the, the next fresh classic server came out on the same day as Cataclysm or Cataclysm Classic. I think that would actually be really interesting to see um, where the where the community goes. Because I know there's also a lot of people that are like, I don't really want to play on those old, you know, like an old private server type of thing. Like they're used to not having any lag. Like, like I played on private servers for years. My ping, um, my ping to the private servers was 163 thereabouts um, for my ping. For the for for my ping now to Ferlina from the West Coast, by the way, I live in Vancouver, Canada, from the West Coast to uh, the servers on the East Coast, my ping is 53. It's a noticeable difference. It's a, it's a noticeable difference. And a lot of people, I know people that, that are like play from further away than I do. And that meant that their ping is, is worse to Ferlina but it's also way worse for private servers. And a lot of those people are like, I don't really want to play with that ping on a private server anymore. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my thought. I think that's, it's going to be interesting to see if Blizzard actually wants to say, Hey, yeah, we'll provide a classic fresh server. But again, you're going to have the, you're going to have the people that they're not vanilla van fans of vanilla. And rather than say, Hey, you know what? Like, I get it. There's people that want to play it. Let's let them have it. There's a lot of people like, no, man, we can't have another classic fresh. Like, I don't understand the problem with or the uh, why there's some people that get so angry every time people mentions, hey, let's we want a classic fresh. If you don't want to play classic fresh, don't play it. Like, that doesn't mean that everybody else that wants to play it shouldn't have that option as well. But you get some people that get so angry at the fact that whenever somebody says, hey, we want classic, you know, a classic fresh server again would be really cool. You get people that are like just, just furious. Like whenever Blizzard announces that they've got a new expansion, I don't get angry because I know there's retail players that they really want to play another expansion. I don't get angry at that. It's like, yeah, cool, man. They they want to they want a new version of the game. Like let, let them have that. But for all these people that still love the vanilla, fresh, version of the game. It's extraordinarily popular. And some people, they that's not their cup of tea, but there's a lot of people that it is. And every fresh relaunch, you see that. And for example, this private server that just came out a few days ago, you know, f six, six, 7,000 people 
the 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 day of launch we're playing it and that was while wrath is out what's it going to be like when there's no wrath of lich king so i would suggest that blizzard maybe listen to that and when when wrath is done give fresh vanilla as an option not the season of mastery crap that doesn't work that is terrible that's not what people are asking for anyways i'm rambling here anyways uh if you uh haven't already definitely go to willie um i will leave his links down below give him a like on his video like we always do if you haven't subscribed to his videos definitely subscribe to his video he's easily one of the he's been really nailing videos lately so um, I don't necessarily agree that there's a lot of people who are looking for season mastery. I haven't really heard much about that. But anyways, go to go to his video, like, subscribe to his channel. If you enjoyed my commentary and you're watching this on YouTube, uh, do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel as well. Um, I do stream six days a week. I am now trying to do more of an EU-friendly stream. So that would be starting at around 11 or 11 a.m. or noon Eastern um so yeah um and if you'd like to talk to me about world of warcraft you can uh stop by here six days a week at those times at twitch.tv slash and until then i'll see you next time in the next video take care